Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day eight of the Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, yeah, and also the weekly farm, maybe afterwards. No update today. Foot still hurts, but I'm walking a little bit better. Just a little bit, but you know, progress is progress. Like I said, hopefully next week I'll get running again. Still at the gym. Uh, I think right now I'm working on uh, uh, one hand dead hangs. Uh, I used to be able to do that and one hand pull ups uh, or one arm pull ups, I suppose. Um, but I feel like I haven't been able to do that in a couple of years. So maybe I'm trying to work my way back up to it. It just helps with all the random hiking I do. But yeah, um, not much to be said. So let's get started on today's farm. We have 2349 design a number container system. Okay, so you have a system insert and we place a number at the given index. We turn the smallest index for the given number in the system. Okay, what does that mean? At the given index, insert or replace a number. Are those two different things? Or what does that what does insert and replace mean? Okay, so I guess they'll actually tell you. Fill the container at index with number. If there's already a number okay, replace it. Find number. Return the smallest index. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hang on, hang on, friends, hang on. Oh, 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 man, it's very cold here in New York. Still in the um, sub-zero temperature for Celsius. It's about like ten degrees or something, or twenty degrees uh, for Fahrenheit. But yeah, okay. So I think you have to try to for these problems like this. You try and figure out what is it that you're trying to do. Um, for here, you're trying to find the minimum number of that number. Okay, and that's that's okay. Um, mm, there are a couple of things that we can try to think about how to do it, right? Um, return the smallest index means that we probably want either a heap or a sorted list or in different languages like a, a, a what's it called? A binary search tree or something like this just so that we can repeatedly get the smallest number right so that's one thing so then now if we do have a heap for a given number then what does that mean for the change right so that means so that means that we want actually it makes it seem like what you naturally want to do is just be like okay here's a list of indexes right here are some numbers, and we want to change it, and then something happens, right? But what we actually want to do is the re reverse of it almost, right? We want a number. We want a number and then all the indexes that map to it, right? So, yeah, so maybe you can have something like here... Um, Yeah, maybe I'll use like a sorted list or something, right? Um, maybe I'll have something like, um, eh, naming things is kind of awkward, right? So I do have boxes maybe for the indexes, right? We'll make it a lookup thing. And then we have maybe um, a number lookup. I don't know. Naming things is hard. Uh, and here maybe we have a sorted list, say. Right, and then now find would be easy, right? So if um, length of self dot oh, this is wow, well, whoops, it should be um, yeah, default dick where that is the the, um, the default. So if num look up if this is equal to zero, whoops, then we return negative one. Otherwise, we just return this, the smallest number in that, right? I think this one, this part so far should be understandable. Where right? you just get the smallest number of that, or smallest index with that number. It's hard, it's hard to say, it's confusing. But then now, what do we do, right? So here, we can say sub the boxes of index is equal to number, right? That means that sub that number of lookup uh, of number, oops, 
we want to add index. Um, but then we also want to, if the previous is none, so if index is in self.boxes, that means the previous is equal to self.boxes of index. And then we want to do self.number of lookup of number remove index, right? So you, oh no, no, it's not number, sorry, sorry. Of previous remove index. And that's it, I think. Yeah, let's give a quick submit. I don't know, only, I mean, this is kind of a hard problem to read, honestly, at least for me, if you ask me. Uh, it's just this thing about numbers and indexes and stuff like that. Um, can you do a little bit better? Mm, I don't know. I mean, I think this is probably the easiest way. Maybe. No, yeah, I think this is re very reasonable. Uh, I mean, each one, this is going to be um, log of... I mean, no, no, not even log. This is all, all of one. I think it is uh, pretty reasonable because so the list, first element should be all of one. Maybe I'm wrong on that one. But at worst, it's log of n. But the add and the removal is log n, and that's where the change complexity is. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's just about just tr keeping track, uh, or, or not even just keeping track of everything, which you should, but um, it's just about knowing how to, to keep track of things. It's a little bit tricky. It could be, could um, have a lot of potential for making mistakes, but once you kind of draw everything out, I don't think it's so bad. I think you just have to figure out what is it that you, you want to do, right? Uh, there are a lot of different ways to do it, but it's going to give you different complexity, um, and you have to think about the trade-offs, right? So we, we want to optimize for this. Well, how do you do this in a reasonable way and try to optimize that, right? But if you optimize for this, what is the lowest that you can do this? So so forth, uh, and then just kind of find the one that makes you happy. Um, yeah, that's all I have for today. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy. Do your mental health. I'll see y'all later. And take care. Bye bye.